Hello and welcome back to another episode of Steve's Reviews. Now a few weeks ago I did an unboxing of a lot of stuff that I've been sent and quite a few of you wanted to see these. Today we're going to take a look at what could possibly be the coolest looking headphones ever. These headphones come in a sleek black case that holds 800 milliamps of charge and can charge the earphones fully up to four times. Once charged, the earphones can be used for four hours of music and six hours of calling time. Incidentally, this is what your voice will sound like to the other person in a phone call, which uses the inbuilt mic in the right headphone. The headphones charge through contacts in the case. But enough about the case, let's talk about the headphones. They are super small and super sleek, and come with a variety of different sized earbuds to fit all ears. Relatively comfortable, they sit on the inside of your ear and look quite unassuming. That is, until you press the touch sensitive button on the side. They spring to life with a wicked electroluminescent ring that breathes like a demon when connected to your device. Seriously, this is cool. And it looks reminiscent of something from Tron. This glowing ring makes these headphones look incredible and possibly make them one of the coolest headphones I have ever seen. Now I'm a huge fan of wireless headphones and no, I don't mean the wireless headphones that have big strings attaching the earbuds. I mean truly wireless headphones like for example, the Apple AirPods, which incidentally I love, but these are a cheaper option and I want to know if they're any good. Now, as we've seen a couple of seconds ago, they are possibly one of the best looking headphones I've ever seen. I love futuristic looking stuff and this glowing ring on the side of it is truly cool. I think it looks great. But the real question is, do they sound good? Now, this is going to be really difficult to sort of show you over this video because you're never going to understand truly how well these sound but let's pop them in anyway i might put one up to this and see if you can hear it coming from it but i'm going to pop them in just to show you what they look like in and there we go Hmm. Now, interestingly, on the top here is a little on button. And this is essentially, you push it in and it turns it on. You have to do this when, they, when you take it out of the case. Not too much of an issue, but it's pretty straightforward. Once you press it on, both of them pair up to each other. Now, one criticism of the pairing process that I would find straight away is that when you pair them for the first time that's fine it tells you that that one's paired and this one's paired and it's paired to the device itself which is in this case my phone in my pocket every time i turn these on it automatically pairs no problem like most bluetooth devices but what's really annoying is that every single time it pairs it tells me Pairing device, pairing device, pairing device. So it mentions it three times. It's quite irritating, but that's just a little niggle because when it's up and running, it actually works very, very well. So they've paired up. There's no hassle here at all. Now I've been using these for the past week and I haven't noticed either of these becoming out of sync with each other, which was a massive common problem for wireless headphones for a long, long time. Now, yes, Apple were the ones to bring out truly wireless headphones first with their AirPods and do it well. Before them, all of the devices were pretty naff and they'd become out of sync or one would become unpaired and it would be an absolute nightmare. But what it seems like to me, since they've done that, other companies have started to catch up, such as these. They do very, very well 
as staying paired. Let's have a listen to the audio. Now I'm just going to play some music that is not going to get me fired from YouTube. Let's have a look. Okay, so the sound in my eyes is quite well balanced. Yeah, I think... I think overall the bass isn't massive. It hasn't got a huge amount of bass. It does well though, it's got a good range and I think it doesn't overpower any of the particular sounds. So I wouldn't say the highs are overpowered or the mids or the, or the lows. I think it's got a good even sound and none of it is very tinny, it's very rich. I don't think it's quite often with cheaper headphones you'd expect to get a bit of tinniness in there. Actually, it does a very good job, and I can't really hear much tinniness in the sound that it's creating. And, as I said earlier, they're paired up very well. There's no out-of-syncness. So if I just do this for you now... Turn this up. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, but... So that's just the right one. And this is the left one as well. Just the left one. And they're still glowing. The little things, the little glowing button things on the outside, they're breathing. I just think that is so cool in terms of its design. Yeah, I think overall the sound is actually pretty good. I'm going to stop the music there. So overall, in terms of the sound, they're actually very, very, very good. Now, it is difficult to show you exactly how well the sound performs over a video. But overall, I'm impressed. And there wasn't anything particularly horrible about the sound. There wasn't anything particularly incredible about the sound. They did a good job. Moving back to the style, honest to God, these happen to be some of the best looking headphones I've ever used. My criticism is that they're gloss black, and nowadays that's not particularly in fashion. Most people prefer a matte black style or kind of an aluminium type appearance. These are a little bit glossy for my taste, and the case is quite glossy, so it shows up fingerprints like you wouldn't believe. And my fingerprints aren't particularly greasy. Yeah, it just seems to just become this greasy ball of nastiness quite quickly. But that's a little tiny gripe for the style. Because these, like I said, I'm so impressed with how these look. Genuinely, they're gorgeous. They're incredible. I would say these are the best looking small earbuds that you can buy. Because they are the most futuristic looking earbuds that you can buy. Mm. Now let's talk about the price. On Amazon, they're listed at £120, which I think is quite expensive for a pair of headphones by a company that isn't as well known as someone like Bose or Apple. But at the moment, they're supposedly discounted down to about 50 quid, which all of a sudden makes that price much more attractive for these headphones. Now, how often they're at £120, I don't know, and how often they're sitting at 50 I don't know. But right now, you'd be looking at about 50 quid for a pair of these. And as usual, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check them out yourselves. In conclusion, these are going to offer you a good experience. They're not the best-sounding headphones I've ever used. However, they're also not the worst. And I think for the price point at around 50 to 100 pounds, they actually perform significantly better than a lot of other headphones that are truly wireless in this price range. When you include how they look, that's when the value really increases. 
I just love the appearance of these. And they performed very well in terms of how they uh, operate with the phone and pairing up. So overall, my experience with these was extremely pleasurable. Honestly, they are very good indeed. And I think if you're looking for a pair of truly wireless headphones, these definitely are a good contender. And that concludes today's review. Guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon.